All right, so I want to solve this inequality. Now, before we start, I want you to just think about what is it that you are trying to find? Hopefully you realize what I'm trying to find are the x values that make this function less than zero. In other words, what x values can I plug into my function so that it is negative? Thinking even more um, concretely about that, if I'm looking at the graph of this function, it's negative when it is below the x-axis, right? Whenever the value is negative. And so I can apply this idea of the sign chart to find out where my function is going to be negative. So what I want to do is I, find, I want to find the critical points. I want to create my sign chart so I know exactly where my function is going to be positive and negative, And then I can use those places to determine the sign of my function and when it will be less than 0. So let's go ahead and create our sign chart here. We want to populate it with our critical points. So the first type of critical point, right, there are two, two really critical x values, two types of critical x values. x values that make the function undefined, right, when my denominator is equal to 0, and values that will make the numerator equal to 0, meaning they will make the whole function 0. So there are roots and where the function is undefined. So first are where the function is undefined. And this is just going to be when x is plus or minus 3. I have to square root both sides. And so the two places where my function is undefined are going to be at x equals plus or minus 3. Next, I want to discover where my roots are going to be. Where is my function hitting the x-axis? And where are the only places it can hit the x-axis, which is important. So I want to know when 2x squared minus x minus 6 will equal 0. And here it might be helpful to use the quadratic formula. Uh, you can go ahead and do that off to the side, maybe pause the video and solve this, and then come back and check your work. All right, so if you are going to use the quadratic formula here, you are going to find that the roots of your function, what will make uh, this quadratic uh, equal to 0, is when x is either negative 1.5 or when x equals positive 2. And so these are the roots of my function. This would be the vertical asymptotes of the function. And these go into my sign chart. These are going to be the critical values. And then I just evaluate in between them to see what's happening to my function. So negative 3, negative 1.5, positive 2, and positive 3. At this point, pause, go ahead and complete your sign chart. Sketch a graph just so you feel comfortable that you know your answer, and then write out your answer, and then come back and check. So in between, or I'm sorry, to the left of negative 3, my function is positive. In between negative 3 and negative 1.5, it is negative. In between negative 1.5 and 2, the function is positive. In between 2 and 3, it is negative. And past 3, it is positive. So if I were to graph this function, I can sketch a quick graph of it. I know I have horizontal asymptotes, or sorry, vertical asymptotes at 3 and negative 3. And so I also know the roots, which appear at um, negative 1.5 and positive 2. And I know the sign of my function. So I don't know the, the horizontal asymptote quite yet. Um, if I were to figure that out, it would actually be at 2. And you can figure that out on your own um, if you'd like. And so I, I can actually sketch a graph of this function pretty, pretty easily. To the left of negative 3, it's positive. In between negative 3 and negative 1.5, it's going to be negative. Between negative 1.5 and 2, it's positive. In between negative 2 and negative 3, or I'm sorry, in between 2 and 3, it is negative. And past positive 3, it's positive. So where are the places where my function is negative? I can highlight those 
those are going to be anywhere in here and anywhere in here, right? Between 2 and 3 and between negative 3 and negative 1.5. So those are the two places and to represent that I'm going to write uh, the values of x that are okay, that are in these spaces. So for this part here, x could be less than negative 1.5 and greater than negative 3. Notice it can't be either of these values, can't be equal to because that's at zero, and it can't be exactly three because that's undefined. And this spot over here is when x is less than three and x is less than or greater than two.